Hello and welcome back to another event video for Final Fantasy XIV with me, Mioni. Today is a very special day. It is, of course, the 2nd of April 2024, and we have the Final Fantasy XVI crossover. If you want to take part in this crossover event, it is live today and will be lasting until Wednesday the 8th of May. So you've got, obviously, until the 8th of May to actually get all of the rewards from this, and then presumably it goes poof and then people will be asking for it to come back in the future much like the final fantasy 15 uh, crossover that also recently just came back so if you want to take part in this then and you have an active account uh, you can obviously come over to aldar if we go over here to aldar at the steps of nald you'll find a quest called a land on fire this is a level 50 quest and you'll find it just over here. This is at X 8.8, Y 9.8. If we go over towards this NPC, you will also probably find a lot of people hanging around this particular NPC. So this is the Neophyte Adventurer. I'm going to do a full stream later if you want to see the storyline. But of course, to avoid spoilers, let's just get to the rewards and where they're from. After a series of really cool things I don't want to talk about because it would be spoilerific, you will get your first set of rewards and oh my goodness, I didn't realize how much was going to be just straight up rewarded from a quest. This quest was fantastic, I'll let you enjoy it yourself. But of course we get the Meteon attire coffer, which is Clive Rosfield's attire, which is the full, uh, I think it's a four piece set that's fully diable, we'll look at that in just a second course Clive Rosfield the main protagonist of Final Fantasy 16. We also get the Torgal mount and we also get the Torgal minion as well. What a what an event seriously let's go look at these items in just a second. You also get given an achievement as a culmination of this called found the flame and the title you get is of the twin star. That's a fantastic title. I'm very happy to have that one in our collection. So here we are at the gold saucer, and if you want to get the special items, you need to come over to the main counter in the entrance square. You will find under the prize exchange four tab, this. If you tick the show only recently added items, you'll find one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's right, ten orchestrion rolls, which is some of the soundtrack for Final Fantasy 16 for your leisure of course i am not going to play through these because who knows what kind of copyright stuff i will have to dodge it includes everything on screen here you can also uh, quickly youtube search any of these names personally some of my favorites are find the flame definitely one i'm going to have on loop and definitely land of icons and to sail forbidden seas those are my go-to's in my personal opinion, but they're all absolutely fantastic. These will obviously cost you 20,000 MGP each. And of course, if you're thinking that MGP is hard to get, it is not. If you do, obviously, each week of Fashion Report every Friday, of which I do videos on this channel, you'll get these in no time at all. But uh, simply buy these and add them to your collection, as you can hear many people doing behind me. Lest we also forget there is another item from the Gold Saucer that we can actually get, and that's a Triple Triad card. Of course, you will need to have completed the quest for this to appear on here, but if you go to the Triple Triad card section and tick Show Only Recently Added Items, you will see the Clive Rosfield card for 200,000 MGP. Again, if you want MGP, the best way to do it is passively with Fashion Report, or we'll wait for an upcoming Make It Rain event or something like that. So let's learn this card just like that. And if we have a look on our Gold Saucer section under our card list, he will be alongside some of his friends next to Noctis over here. And we've got an Ace North, 5 to our West, 7 East and 8 South card, which makes this really good. And of course, why not place... Why not a place where people can live on their own terms? The quote there of Clive. It's so nice to have this card in the game alongside all of the others we've had so far. I need to up my game with the tournament cards, don't I? I really do. I've let it slip a bit. All right, let's start the mammoth task of looking at all of these wonderful items. The first item we're going to look at then is the Mount and Minion specifically. So let's have a look at the Minion. I know my inventory is awful. Don't read into it too much. So let's learn the minion first. 
So we're inside Bardem's Metal because currently the Azim Step is actually pretty awful. So we're in here on Explorer mode if you're wondering. So let's look at this particular minion. You'll find it on page 16 and it says summon your Torgal pup minion. Go on. You know you want to pet the adorable fellow. What could possibly go wrong? According to the wandering minstrel, the beast who appeared to aid the stranded Clive was a guiding spirit born of its master's memory. So impressed was the ever insightful musician by the creature, he decided to recreate a young version of it, which, despite its diminutive size, already possesses the indomitable spirit of a fine hound it will one day become. Adorable. The hidden text on this says, what an adorable little puppy you have. A quote there of Hildebrand. So let's have a look at this particular minion. They've kind of given it away of, uh, you know, what we, we will have to do to get it to do its emotes. Oh, it's such adorableness. Oh my goodness. How can you not love this? If you've played Final Fantasy 16, then you'll know that essentially you watch Torgal grow as a pup into a faithful hound. And now we have one as well. He's even got little markings on his back, look, on his butt. What a great looking minion. I'm so happy to have this one in our game, his little waggy tail. Oh, that gives me great pleasure. It really does. What a fantastic rendition. Really, really nicely done. In terms of scale, yeah, he's pretty, pretty large. He's not too small. And I do like their new focus at Square Enix on making sure that uh, minions have got, you know, decent polygon count and they're not really that blurry they've done a really good job with this one i think yeah really nice i love his eyes all right let's see what interactions he has so of course i don't have a pet collection title on at the moment will he just react he will okay so we can feed him with a handover emote like so oh feed the pup and pet him that's an animation <laughs> okay. Sort of looks around and goes, hmm. And licks his lips. Oh, is he looking for biscuits? Well, nuts, right? He loves Kupo nuts. Is that, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the tongue animation's brilliant. Okay, so that's the minion, uh, but I still think probably feeding him is my favorite thing. And then, of course, we have the mount as well. And whilst we're in explorer mode, we can actually look at that. So let's uh, learn the Torgal whistle. So on my mount guide, this is my 224th mount so summon forth torgal a trusty hound inspired by the trusty hound inspired by the memories of the actual trusty hound <laughs> okay having a bit of fun with the uh with the flavor text there according to the wandering minstrel the beast who appeared to aid the stranded clive was a guiding spirit born of its master's memory so impressed was the ever insightful musician by the creature he decided to create this faithful facsimile in hopes that it might also serve you as your loyal companion we do actually have an action button associated with this to actually pet the torgol this is whilst you're mounted on it this is very similar to the corgi mount that you can get uh, that's on the cash shop but of course uh, I, I presume it's the same emote we've got a paw print and the hidden text says a more dependable comrade one would hard be pressed to find a quote there of alphano so let's have a look at this mount then <coughs> That's adorable. Oof, oof. And he does like the whole rrr, when he leaves. <laughs> First impressions then. It's great, isn't it? Wow. This looks so good in our game. I was a little bit worried that it was going to be like low count or the fur wouldn't be done justice to, but my goodness. Is this using Dawn Trail's new tech with fur? It really looks night and day in comparison to some of the other, like the, the dog mounts that we got from Trials. It looks completely different. Wow. 
This is a really cool looking mount. Like, really cool looking. Look at his big fluffy tail. That's great. Ignore the clipping from my cape there. So, in slow speed, he sort of pads along. And then when you want to, he can bolt. That's awesome. That is so cool. They know how to do mounts. They really do. <laughs> I can see a lot of people loving this. I really can. Very cool stuff. So, of course, the uh, actual action button, which is a love heart to pet. Oh, the sound effects. That's so good. The little whimpers as well. The face of your character as well. Hold on. Let's get that in. She's so happy. She's happy to pet the toggle. Seems to have different sounds. Like a grumble and sometimes a whimper. He's not doing the whimper anymore. Hold on. There we go. So there's two sound files that are on loop there. Amazing. The real question, though, on everyone's mind is, what is the mount music? Oh, boy. Let's, let's find out. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Whack that up. What a fantastic mount that is, as I'm falling to my doom. I think a lot of people are going to be very, very happy with this one, to be perfectly honest. How could you not? What a fantastic soundtrack. What a fantastic mount. I cannot wait to see people chilling out with this in the game. Amazing stuff. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Right, let's go and have a look <laughs> at the glamour. That's the next thing. Oh, so many rewards from this. You'd be a fool to miss out. You really would. Okay, so let's look at these items individually. We're going to start from the bottom up so that we can actually see what these look like. Uh, because obviously, you know, you're not going to see it once all of these items are together. So these are the Metean shoes in particular, which are quite interesting, quite unique, actually. They've got this sort of plated motif, sort of medieval designed shoes. Uh, pretty much, I have i don't think I've ever seen Clive's shoes up close from Final Fantasy 16. I've only ever seen them what appeared to be in boot form uh, with the leggings, but it turns out that those are the feet in question. Additionally to that, we also have the legs to go with that, and you'll see why I thought these were boots originally. So that's interesting, isn't it? They're actually just plated front covers. So if we have those separately from the rest of the uh, of, of the outfit without the feet in the way, 
you'll see that the legs actually go down to your ankle level itself, which is really interesting. I, I honestly thought he wore boots. These are really cool, though. And I love the fact that it's not just, you know, a one piece or anything like that. Very well detailed. I like the ribbing on the front there that you wouldn't normally see. This is going to be really nice to mix and match with other things, especially with the decal sort of details on the sides there. Looking really good. So when it comes to the chess piece as well, let's drag that out and have the chess piece. Oh, well, actually, do the gloves first. That'd probably be the most sensible thing. So the gloves then, they come up to your upper arm sort of length. They're really nice as well, aren't they? Oh my goodness. Clive's outfit is absolutely wonderful. I am a massive fan of the Final Fantasy 16 stuff. I was kind of hoping that we'd get Jill's outfit as well, but uh, apparently not. Uh, hopefully they do more in the future. Maybe we could ask Yoshi P to uh, maybe do another 16 crossover, like a follow-up or something. I don't know how likely is that probably very unlikely but it'd be cool if we could get some other ties from a game I think at the end of the day I'm always going to be asking for more because I'm greedy uh, at the end of the day that's that's what it comes down to these are really nice gloves though high enough that they could probably go well with quite a lot of pieces of gear and we'll have a look at what stuff we can match with this later uh, additionally to that then Let's have a look at the chest on its own very briefly, just to see where it comes to. Otherwise, you wouldn't see this. Uh, so, of course, it goes to your upper arm, sort of just below the elbow. That's quite nice, actually. Quite a nice finish on that. A rounded edge with the chainmail underneath. Of course, if you had some long gloves, they would overlap on top of this. So, that's cool. I love the sort of pleated front here. The only difference between male and female, by the way, is obviously the necessary adjustments for the bust everything else is exactly the same which is really nice to see i love this belt around here uh things on chess pieces that usually go below the waistline mean that things like the coin trail skirt and some others will just simply not be visible past that point so bear that in mind we do actually have a sword on the side well one of clive's daggers um which is kind of cute actually isn't it uh, that is one thing that we didn't get from this event is his actual weapon, which is a real shame. I do love weapon glam. On the back here, very sort of, you can just about tell there's a satchel there. In fact, a couple of those on the belt, but the cape itself obviously covers the majority of that. You'll notice the cape, if you're a character with a tail, uh, your tail will clip through randomly. Uh, depending so if that's a, a deal breaker for you then you probably won't like this i love long capes does this look like anything other than clive's outfit though no not at all obviously if you're a stickler for clipping you know the hair is going to clip through that unless you've got short hair it is what it is i like the collar especially at this point i've given up on really caring about clipping so long as we get cool items so together the outfit looks like this and i think that looks pretty great i don't know what do you think i mean after somebody who genuinely really enjoyed my playthrough of final fantasy 16 to have this outfit in the game there's no way they could have done a crossover like this without including it i think it would be just a missed opportunity the fact that we got a mount a minion you know 10 pieces of music as well as this four piece glamour that everyone can utilize, including including Viera and Rothgar, because it doesn't have a helm piece. I think that's great, don't you? Right, I think enough panning. Let's go and have a look at how this dies. We'll do a front and back comparison. So the dies then, how do they reflect on this? Well, quite surprisingly, they don't actually die as much as I expected them to cover. This actually might be fixed in the future, especially with Dawn Trail's new texture changes and the new dye channel palette. So we're actually gonna be able to dye two sections of each piece in Dawn Trail. We don't know at this point what's going to be backdated, but it's a good likelihood that event items and cash shop items, things like that, should be included in that. Again, there's still no confirmation of that, but we have to live in hope that as many of these pieces of gear get uh, obviously backdated as possible because obviously we want to employ those you know different types of glamour and 
they don't always match with everything we have so unless you're going for something at the moment currently in the game where you want a lot of black and then a sort of undercolor uh, such as the red that is original then you're not probably going to be a massive fan of this but in the future hopefully we can change the color of these textures and the textures themselves might look completely different that's one of the many reasons that a lot of people including myself are really hyped for dawn trail to see what changes are done what their gear looks like what their character looks like obviously the character models themselves are going to have a huge glow up in the future so yeah i think this is a fair example of how it is now but we're probably going to have to revisit a lot of these videos in the future just to give a good idea of what things look like uh, i would imagine a lot's going to change but this is really cool i'm really happy for the most part with how this dies i happen to quite like the black cloak i would have preferred if you know obviously there was more sections that we could die but like i say we have to hope that the future brings that to us i especially like some of the metallic dyes on this actually i think they look really cool Things that would go with this then, obviously, just to give you a demonstration, things like the Quain Trail skirt, because like I say, any chest piece that goes beyond the midline of your waist will actually turn off certain items, including Quain Trail, so you can't use that. However, obviously, some other items would work, and you do get basically a belt layered on top of it. Some other skirts do work. Basically, anything that fits within the confines that doesn't usually have issues which is most of the gear in the game. I would still like Quain Trials to one day be upgraded so that we can actually have this overlap, even if it clipped a little bit or something like that. But yeah, pretty much you're going to have no problem with other items. But uh, yeah, this is uh, one of the few use case scenarios where that might be slightly more annoying. As I said before, with the gloves, of course, if we wanted to have something that's long sleeve, Basically, you're going to end up with the chain mail if you don't, if you go for short sleeve items. But other long sleeve items will fit just over, much like the Meteon gloves did before. So it's just an overlap at that point. I'm not sure why I've set this to just Bard and Archer, but yeah, so you get the idea. If you want to mix and match to your heart's content, the only thing obviously is you're going to try and match something to that black because only the red section that you see here visible on all of the pieces is actually going to change at the moment but you could just have whatever you want uh, going with that and they would overlap uh, instead of as, as acting as a replacer or anything like that and obviously some items will just replace that chainmail completely if you didn't like it for example the Silla's gloves of healing here getting rid of that completely and of course there are no class restrictions on this so you can just mix and match to your heart's content the other advantage with this is that because the legs actually go all the way down to the ankle uh, boots that ordinarily would look strange could look really good or shoes for example because it actually acts as a bit of a top of a boot not a great example there but stuff like the elemental boots would look great on this something that doesn't have a lot of actual boot with it the legs actually add that kind of boot effect so obviously if we had small uh, boots i'm trying to think of an example off the top of my head for example there we go like the yorha type 51 casting boots these look really cool but the ankle disappears quite normally um at this sort of point and finding long uh, sort of leggings to actually fit with these you've always got a bit of a gap of flesh but with these leggings you not you're not going to have that same problem so it's a really, really useful piece of leg wear because you can get that kind of thigh boot look from just ordinary boots. Really, really nice. I like that a lot. Some obviously it's uh, going to look better than others. But yeah, you can even make sort of plated shoes or some sauce. Or I guess pla plated sandals, right? Plated sandals or plated Moogle slippers. Amazing. That doesn't work at all. One of the things to bear in mind is don't put this in your glamour dresser either and don't just leave it lying around. You can actually use the armoire for event items, so don't forget that all of this stuff can be placed somewhere that you can easily access it, even on the glamour dresser if you're a new player, if you didn't know that, uh, from the actual armoire source, and it doesn't take up any storage. So let's put all of this stuff in here. Obviously, you need to have it repaired if you have had it go below 100% but easily accessible when you're creating a plate then it's as simple 
as just clicking open armoire and you will find this set under the seasonal gear 5 tab for the applicable slots obviously there isn't a helm or a weapon so the chest hands legs and feet simple as that anyway let me know what you thought about this event are you happy with getting 10 orchestrion rolls a mount a minion and a four piece diable outfit that everyone can use I, I'm amazed if anyone says they're unhappy with this, but if you are, let me know. What would you like to see if they were able to revisit this? Personally, I would love to see some other characters. It would be nice to get Clive's actual sword. That would be sick. But I don't know how they would implement that without making everyone else feel like they've you know, got a short straw by not playing Dark Knight or something, or Viper as it could be, or Paladin, right, with the swords. But uh, maybe Jill's attire I'd like. But for the most part, I think this has probably been one of the best sort of fan service crossovers we've had. And obviously it's down to, you know, Yoshi P being the producer and director of both games. Or uh, or should I not say that? Because he has to talk to the other, the other Yoshi P, right? That just happens to share the same name and body as him. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you think about this fantastic event. I'm super hyped. Make sure you don't miss this one out. You've got until May 8th to actually make the most of it definitely worth resubbing to in my opinion if it was ever something i would say definitely resub for resub for this you don't want to miss out on it and i don't know if this is going to come back in the future and if it does who knows how long it will take considering how long it took for the final fantasy 15 event to be recycled into the game anyway much love enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you all next time